What's up guys, welcome to this brand new video in which I'll be talking about the lenses I personally use when I shoot weddings. So first of all, let me talk about weddings. Weddings are a very important event for your clients. Uh, we don't have like a second shot uh, as if we were like on a set, like cut or something like that. So you gotta get the shot whenever you have the possibility and it has to be the one. So that's why it is super important that you guys pay attention to this video. I'm gonna share my tips about the lenses and how you can use them and what is to be used when. What is to be used when? Yeah, I think that's correct. So let's talk about the first lens. This is the 16 to 35 ZES F4. Uh, I have shot like most of my weddings with this one. This is the lens I use the most. Um, obviously with the 16 to 24, you can have these establishing shots that you can see on the videos. Um, it allows you to open up, you know, if you enter a church or something, you wanna see the whole image of it. All right, so you don't want a 50 or an 85 or even a 200 millimeter for those shots. Why? Because as I said, first of all, it's versatile. Second of all, it has internal stabilization, which is very, very important when you shoot weddings. We don't want videos jittering on a wedding. So as long as you have stabilization, of course you will have a gimbal or a steady cam. I don't know what you shoot with, but the most important thing, if you add the stabilization of the camera, of the lens and the gimbal, your customers will be very, very happy, trust me. So that was the first one. The second one is 28 to 75 Mark II from Tamron. This is an amazing lens. It's perfect. It's really the lens you need most of the time on your wedding. The Tamron 28 to 75 is good for me because I already have the 16 to 35. So it's already covered from 16 to 35 millimeter. So I don't really worry about not getting the 24 as the GM from Sony, which is 24 to 70, and it was very heavy. I had it once, but I, I sold it, so I bought this one for half the price, and it's perfect for me, for what I use it for. It's also a 2.8 aperture, which gives you the low light situations, the possibility to uh, have more light, to have a less ISO, if you're shooting like on a Sony, a 7.3, let's say, you cannot pump up your ISO, otherwise you'll have some noise. So lenses with, with a smaller f-stop are the best for low light situation, and this one covers it perfectly. So you can go from 28 to 75, gives you to 50, you can zoom in to 50, you can get these looks that you can see on the video, which are perfect, with a small, shallow depth of field. I'm not going to say that is the perfect one, but it gives you those perfect shots too. Without further ado, let's talk about the last one, which covers, let's say eight to 10% of my wedding, but it is very important and it's for the important situations, which is like the first look, let's say, and also during the church, during a religious ceremony. You don't wanna be near your guests like this with your camera, you know, especially when you're dancing or in dance floor, or something like that, it's okay. But if the family is, is watching the ceremony, you have to be as far as possible so they can enjoy also their wedding with their friends and family and you don't want to be there you know before i used to have only this one the 16 to 35 and i had to come like near them you know and i was on all their family's pictures because i you know i couldn't afford bigger lenses but this one is a must if you have the if you have the the money for it 70 to 200 I'm not gonna say something much about it, but you already know. Uh, it's a zoom lens, it has internal stabilization, but I have never put it on a gimbal. This goes, boom, on a tripod. Also use it for the speeches, uh, the guest speeches, or the bride and groom reaction to the speeches. This one is perfect for church, everything. It covers it all. This one is a 2.8 G Master lens. It's approximately $3,500 now, uh, 4,000 euros, I think. That's the price uh, that I bought it for last year, 2022. I don't know today, but it's a perfect investment if you are to use it a lot. And if you shoot interviews, I'll be doing another video about which lenses I use for my commercials. This one also is in there. So this sums it up, the 16 to 35, the 28 to 75 from Tamron and the 70 to 200 from Sony. If you want to shoot weddings, 
I'm talking about video cinematography for wedding films. It, these are like the best lenses out there that you can shoot with. Of course, I have another lens that I'm shooting with today. It is one of my favorite. It's a prime lens. I prefer to shoot on prime lenses like lately since two years now. And this one is the 35 millimeter 1.4 G master lens from Sony. It's a bit expensive, but it's a perfect, uh, perfect lens for situation like low light situations or when you have a gimbal and you're like using it during a ceremony, a wedding or even in the dance floor. So these are the lenses I use, let's say 1635, the 35 that I'm shooting with now, the 28 to 75 and the 70 to 200. If I was to choose one lens from all of those, I will go with the 28 to 75 from Tamron. And if I had like to choose two, then I will go with these two, 1635 and the zoom. 70 to 200 but as i have the luxury today that i worked for of course during years and years i'm taking all the full lenses with me and i'm changing them whenever i have time to so the wedding is covered because your clients are the most important part of the wedding it's their wedding so you don't want to be missing any any situation or any second of it you guys take care i will see you on the next one let me know what you think let me know what you use and which lenses are in your what do you call this backpack backpack excuse my english take care ciao salute a tutti